Hello and welcome. This video is going to run through on how to get cryptocurrency prices into Google Sheets in order to build a very simple dashboard as well as track and man manage your cryptocurrency portfolio. The three things that are required for this is a Google account to use Google Sheets. We're then going to be adding a an extension called the Sync with API and that's obviously for Google Sheets. And then thirdly, in order for us to use the Sync with API, we have to connect to an API and in this tutorial, I'll be using the Coin Market Cap API because it's quick and easy to set up an account, not to mention it being free. So, first things first, if you haven't already got a Coin Market Cap API, if you head over to coinmarketcap.com forward slash API, tap on get your API key now, it's going to ask you to set up an account, run through the account setup process, and on the front page it takes you to, there'll be a a box which literally says uh, API key. Copy that and we'll save that for later. If we head back over to Google Sheets, let's focus on getting the extension added which is going to enable us to connect to the API account we've just created. So if we click on extensions, get add-ons, get add-ons, and in here we're literally just going to search sync with, and it's this first one here, sync with API imported exported JSON. If you click on this, you're going to see install, mine's already installed. If you just click on that, it's going to run through the installation process and add it to your Google Sheets. If it doesn't load immediately at the bottom of your extensions tree, click on refresh and um, it should appear at the bottom. So once we've got the extension installed, we're going to manage the connections and we're going to be using that API key we created um, with CoinMarketCap. So uh, as you can see here, there's, there's a million different APIs that this, uh, this thing can connect to. So we're going to be using CoinMarketCap. So let's just search for coin market cap and click on it. Now the connectors we're going to use, I've got a predetermined list of coins that I want to be looking at. So I'm going to specify the coins myself using this first option. If you wanted to just pull the top 100, top 200, top 300 coins from coin market cap by market cap, then use the second feature. I'll stick with the, uh, the crypto prices. I'm just going to title this coin market cap API. Keep it really simple. In here, you're going to paste in your API key that you had from a previous step. Very straightforward, coins. Now we get a list of all the coins that CoinMarketCap supports. So if I flip over to my dashboard sheet, um, I've got some predetermined tickers here that I'm, I'm interested in looking at today. So Bitcoin, Litecoin, um, Ethereum, Binance Coin, and Solana. Cool. Once we've done that, we can select our currency. So I'm just going to select pound sterling metrics. These are the columns of information that effectively it's going to pull through. So names, probably important ID. And for purposes of this really simple dashboard, I only need price, but let's just pull through some, some random metrics that, that could be of use. Status row, you can leave that blank and I'm going to leave it on a manual refresh. Let's click on insert. Once we click on insert, it should create a new sheet for us. Cool. So there's our, our sheet that's been populated and the information that we selected. So we've got our, our name, uh, an ID, price, volume for the last 30 days and the percentage change over the last 90 days. As we can see over here on the left hand side, there's a click to refresh button. So at any given point, we can refresh this connection to pull the latest information. So if we tap on that, as you just saw, some of the metrics have changed and that's just because it's pulled the latest data. And we can see the time timestamp here of when it last refreshed. We can also via the extensions and manage connections, we can refresh this via this. Now, for the purpose of this, I actually need the symbol um, so I'm going to remove all of these because I'll be using a VLOOKUP. Symbol needs to be to the left um, and I only need price. So let me update this and we sh this should dynamically reload the columns. And we can just come in here and remove the columns we don't need. Now that we've got our data, let's really simply populate the rest of this. So as I said before, I'm just going to be using a very simple VLOOKUP on the ticker to move across and let's just pull the price 
like so. Cool. Now we've got our current market price. Our value is just our quantity multiplied by our current market price. Our percentage gain is the percentage change between the current value of this uh, uh, asset that we hold against the buy value. And our gain is just the nominal difference between them. I can now really simply create some tiles like so. We sum our gains as well. Our gain loss is going to be done in a second and our total invested is simply our buy value. So let's just copy this format across and then we're going to do change. So portfolio value minus total invested. Ooh. Hello, what's going on here? There we go. Over original percentage. Okay, so that was a really, really quick and easy tutorial on how to get cryptocurrency prices into Google Sheets and build a very simple dashboard. Cheers for watching.